Yeah, I mean, we're already at about 30 degrees. It's only half 10. We're at 30 degrees in some parts of the country. Um, there's only one direction those temperatures are going to go, and that's up and up. I think inevitably there'll be disruption. Of course, already the, the, the train operating companies have, have announced that a, limiting, a limited service. I've got to get into London somehow uh, through today, and uh, there's only one train an hour, and that train is going to be going a lot slower than it normally would. So there's going to be a lot of disruption up and down uh, the UK, uh, particularly to transport with those rails buckling, of course. Tarmac will be melting, etc., uh, etc. Et I could go on. Um, we've never experienced temperatures as high as we're likely to get in the next few hours and again tomorrow. So exactly what the impacts are going to be is a big unknown. Nobody can actually tell you uh, how this country is going to be uh, impacted over the next couple of days and, and how we'll get through it. Obviously, the warnings are out there. Uh, it is A lot of it is common sense. You know, look after yourself, look after the frail and the elderly, you know, stay in the shade, drink lots of fluid. Just how many people, um, having gone to the beach, will stay on the beach, given the temperatures we're going to see over the next few hours? Uh, well, Jeff will update us, no doubt. But uh, I think it is a day to stay in the shade. I'm actually going to London with an umbrella. I might look a bit silly, but... Uh, it's going to keep me cool as I walk through the streets of London mm. out of the direct sunlight and, and with a, a bottle of water in my hand as well. Uh, and, and just tell us, um, what's the signs you should look out for? Because obviously we know that the vulnerable are particularly, by definition, vulnerable um, from this level of heat. But for ordinary, healthy people who perhaps don't consider themselves to be much at risk and might not pay yeah. too much attention to um, some of the, the precautions mm. that you're mentioning there, what should they look out for if they're potentially feeling a bit unwell because of the heat? Yeah, it can, it can come up really quite quickly, um, particularly if you do excess exercise. Um, it's confusion, it's dizziness, it's nausea, it's headaches, um, and it's obviously sweatiness. But that, 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 those are the symptoms of, of heat stress. The worry is that heat stress can quickly progress into heat ex uh, heat heat exhaustion and when that happens you actually stop sweating so your your mechanism for getting rid of heat from the body closes down and then your body just gets hotter and hotter and hotter that's that's heat stroke and that can be incredibly serious and you have to rush people to the hospital at very short notice at that point so uh, let's avoid that it's the heat stress it's the dizziness it's the confusion it's the nausea it's the headaches uh, that, those are the, the telltale symptoms that your body is beginning to overheat and uh, obviously it's the frail the elderly people with heart conditions people with lung conditions which are most susceptible to that so uh, i won't be doing any excess exercise today i will not be standing in the sun for any length of time and I just, said, uh, I just say that the common sense advice, without it being a nanny state, common sense advice uh, will be well heeded, I think, uh, for most of us over the next couple of days, 